Happy Corn Day, everybody. Find out what Games Workshop unveiled for the Blood God in this video. So yesterday was the 8th of August, a day that Games Workshop dubbed Corn Day, 8th of the 8th. Very fitting, I like it, well done. And so they gave us a load of previews, announcements for the followers of Corn for both Chaos Demons and World Eaters. I say a load of announcements, I think there was probably less than I'd hoped for, but knowing that Chaos Codex Demons, Chaos Codex Demons, Codex Chaos Demons is coming, knowing that World Eaters is coming, I've not really got reason to complain. So the first article that dropped yesterday was about Codex Chaos Demons, and it talked about glow-ups for certain units, essentially Flesh Hounds, Skull Taker, and it showcased a stratagem. Now Flesh Hounds are a unit that I've loved forever, and they've always been terrible. So they're supposed to be super frightening demonic dogs who hunt you down with blood scent and take you out. They've never really done that. However, they've had a boost. Their movement is greater, they've gained an initial two inches of movement, their strength has gone up by one, and so has their attacks characteristics, and we're also seeing that new demonic save we spoke about two videos ago, so they have a four plus invulnerable save against ranged attacks. That means that my corn doggos are gonna have more of a chance to pound across the battlefield and get into combat, and when they do, with strength five and a uh, three attacks each, they're just gonna be that little bit more devastating. That, as well as the fact they have a new ability called Savage Pounce. Savage Pounce means that if they successfully made a charge, they gain an additional damage. So they go up to, I assume, two damage? But we don't know yet, because we haven't seen what their gore-drenched fangs will do in melee. Currently, their strength four, AP minus one, one damage. Let's hope that their strength five, maybe AP minus two, one damage, two damage if they charge. That'd be super tasty. Super happy for Flesh Hounds. They also showcased one of my favorite characters, Skull Taker, who's okay right now, but he's not incredible. He can still reroll hits and wounds versus character units, which is amazing, but now his aura abilities extend for every character he kills. So he starts off with six inch aura abilities, like most characters in the 41st millennium, and if he kills an enemy character, it goes up to nine inches. If he kills another one, up to 12 inches, and so on and so forth, which is amazing. His Lord of Deca Decapitation's ability is now something he can use in the command phase, stick on friendly bloodletter units and give them plus one to hit which is really tasty. Bloodlet is hitting on twos is always nice with their Hellblades. They're a strength five now. I assume they're still AP minus three. They could be pretty devastating as a core choice. Not to mention the fact that they also have that same four plus invulnerable save against ranged attacks. Corn Demon's looking significantly more frightening now. I'm so happy I've got a Corn Demon army, meaning they can trudge across the battlefield, uh, withstand more incoming fire, and then be more devastating when they get, get there. Games Workshop also showcased a new stratagem for Corn Demons called Frenetic Bloodlust. It's one or two command points depending. So basically at the start of any fight phase, yours or your opponents, you can use this stratagem. If you're not within engagement range, you can make a normal move of up to six inches. That costs you two command points. If you are in engagement range, you can pile in immediately. That will cost you one command point. That's actually very interesting and very clutch. This is at the start of the fight phase. You can toe onto objectives using this. If you do it in your opponent's charge phase or your opponent's fight phase, spend two command points. If you're not engaged, make a normal move of six inches and get onto an objective. Next command phase, you're then holding that objective, giving you some additional primary points. It's a really tasty stratagem. Gives corn demons more movement as well which is something else that's super key and super clutch for melee units very exciting for corn demon players obviously you've probably seen on the channel before i have 2000 points of corn demons i'm excited to use them as a mono god faction once again in this codex i'm super happy about the invulnerable saves but that wasn't it games workshop then released another article on the community page on corn day the one that I'm probably more excited about. So if you've followed the channel for a while, you know that we have the Eternal Slaughter, my Chaos Space Marine World Eater Warband in the colours of the Hounds of Abaddon, the Black Legion. I've loved running them as World Eaters forever. We have a Black Legion painted Khan the Betrayer. We've got a ton of kit-bashed corn berserkers that were made by the incredible team at Blazing Brush Studio. Check out Blazing Brush Studio. James did an incredible job of not only converting but painting the army. It's been featured in um, No Retreat by the guys, the amazing guys at SM Battle Reports as well. However, as much as I love the models that James made me, and I do love the models that James made me, did you see yesterday's second announcement? They have finally showcased a glow-up for the brand new 
Corn Berserker models, and I have to accept and admit that I'll be buying tons of those. That one model that they released looks incredible. He has a plasma pistol, meaning corn berserkers will still be able to take plasma pistols. He has a great big chain axe, which makes me super happy. The pose looks amazing. The scale looks incredible. The corn 8 deeds, I love it. I'll stick an image on screen. I love it. I'm very excited to see what else Codex World Eaters brings model range wise for us devoted followers of corn. Anyway, that's it for this update. It was very quick because that was the two articles I stuck out yesterday. I said we'd do these videos as frequently as we could and at the moment it's going well. So keep commenting below. Let me know what you think of that new Corn Berserker model. Let me know what you think of the changes to Corn Demons. Is it something that you like as a Chaos Demon player? Is it something that makes you think about collecting Corn Demons or are you now terrified of them? Alternatively, do you just not think that the updates are that good or that mind-blowing so far? I think they're really nice. I'm really happy with them. Let me know in the comments below. If you love what we do here and you want to support the channel further, then think about becoming a channel member. You can hit that join button below this video. Look at the perks. Cheapest option gets you access to the Great Hall community Discord server, which is incredible and I'm super proud of it. So think about becoming a channel member. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so that every time we drop one of these videos, you are notified and you don't have to read the community page anymore. I'm going to give you the 40k news that's important. Possibly. Probably. Okay. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.